Yeah, get on with your uh, your F1 Alpha. Um, yeah, it's doing well. Week six, loads of progress. Started on the bodywork, get that shape all set. Um, then we've got to mould it, but we're a few minutes away from doing that. Rolling chassis finished, suspension's done, gearbox has gone off a rebuild, still struggling to find a, an engine rebuilder. Okay. I can't believe that, Mazda MX-5 engine. Um, carbs have arrived, axles done, steering's done, suspension's done. They're in good shape. Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? I've well, seen the, the pictures look amazing as well of the car so far. And I'm really excited. When that car rolls across the block uh, at the Classic Motor Show in November, I reckon it's going to cause quite a bit of a stir in that car. Hope so. I mean, that's the plan. We want to try and raise profile, raise money. How's your little Ford? Uh, well, the little Escort's doing really well. Uh, we've had a young lad called Brandon stripping down the engine. That's Brandon's birthday, isn't it? Yeah, it's his birthday. And guess how old he is? And remember, the car's like 30, what's it, 30 odd years of age. Uh, but Brandon's yeah. a kid. He is a kid. He's only 18. Oh, so he's nearly a man. Yes, he's Brandon. nearly a man. Happy birthday, birthday. tomorrow, man. Good yeah. luck with yeah. the Escort. I know they're um, tough to work around, but they're great cars to learn on. But isn't it fantastic that young people uh, want to get into building cars? Yes, and he's done an incredible job. He's been working with a team down at Cross Street Garage. Uh, they've got the car now over to the paint shop. Our friends, Cosmetic Also Care in Northampton, Gary and Greg, who are we know are going to knock it out of the park when it comes to the paint. Yeah, I've been looking at the pictures of Mike's Ford and you guys are doing a fantastic <laughs> job. I had this vision when you were on paper at the NEC that it would kind of be a fix it up, polish it, flog it, but actually, no. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. And the idea is that both of these cars, when they roll across the auction block, at the NEC in November, they're just going to make a huge amount big of money. money. They deserve to make big money. They do deserve to make big money. So remember who we're doing this for. We're doing it for the fantastic Harrison's Fund, which is Ant's Charity and the Marie Crawford Boyd Foundation. Another brilliant charity. And we need to raise as much money and as much profile for these charities as possible. So overall then, we're not doing bad, are we? Well, considering it's week six, the cars aren't actually needed till November. We've still got a bit of breathing space, but you know what it's like. You want to be a few weeks ahead, get it tested, especially with a scratch built car. Yeah. At the moment, it's all on paper. I love the week. You keep saying a few weeks ahead. I'm trying to get a few months ahead. <laughs> that's because there's summer coming, and I don't want to be driving around the escort with roof on. Oh, yeah. Well, you that's the point. It. Yeah, that's the point. You can always clean them after. Get it across the auction block, it'd be great. Keep the miles down. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure the owner gets a, a brand new car. Uh, don't forget to engage with me and Ant during this Classic Rumble. If you use the hashtag Classic Rumble, and don't forget to show your support for either of us. The hashtag for Ant is Team Ant, and the hashtag for me is Team Mike. Uh, so make sure that you show your support and your care and your love because we really appreciate it. And that's it, right, back to work. Yeah, I'm gonna go and fix that bag of rubbish that I just brought in the workshop. Carry on drinking coffee, lovely.